you guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on school supplies. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about things you might want to use in class and stuff like that, how you might want to organize stuff. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to get into that right now. You might not need this, but for my school, in high school, we had to turn in, like, papers and stuff. Like, we had to type them and everything. So, we had presentations. So, I always wanted, so you always need, like, a little memory stick. It's just a SanDisk one. I got this from Walmart for $12 for a gigabyte, but in high school you probably need like a 2 gig. You don't really need that much, but for college, you know, it's required to get 4, so you might not need that much, but I definitely do this year, so definitely might want to check that out because you might need to, so you might need to turn in a paper. You don't want to turn it in late and say your printer's not working, you always have that stick with you and you can take it to school and print stuff out there so that's always a good idea highlighters highlighters I got this one from Walgreens they were like 50 cents each but they usually have a sale for like four or four dollars so this is definitely a good idea to go get stock up on highlighters they have different colors like pink yellow green blue and they have purple so definitely go to Walgreens for four dollar or fifty cents it depends on what their sale is so definitely this is a lot cheaper than going and buying a pack with just four for like four dollars or something because it's cheaper just to buy them singles at Walgreens. Uh, you definitely need pencils. So I like these pencils, the Bic. And I like these. This one was, I'm not even sure how much this was. But I think they were, they were on sale for $3.50 at Target and you get 26 mechanical pencils. I like these because these are colorful and I like the erasers on them. They don't smudge. And they pretty they do erase completely. And if you're I mean, I wasn't really careful. I just I write really heavy so the lead kept breaking, but if you're a lot e if you're a lot easier on your pencils and stuff, I really recommend these because these are really nice pencils. I love these pencils and they get the job done. Like they're a lot better than other brands. So big pencils. They also come in like heavier colors like red, dark green and stuff, but I do like the shimmery pastels. But, um, you might need these, I don't know, but if you like making flashcards, you should get some little index cards to get, to make. So, these are colored ones. I got these last year, so I don't really remember the price. I think I got these at Walgreens or something, I'm not sure, but I'm, per I'm pretty sure they're really cheap. You can get packs, big packs, little packs, so definitely get some index cards because they can really help. You, especially if you're taking a foreign language, write the whatever the word is and then write the definition on the back. Definitely a good way to just keep testing yourself, especially if it's the night before. It's definitely a good way to get in your head. You'll always need a binder for school. Well, you might not like binders, but I prefer binders over notebooks. This is just a standard binder here, so... Here, this is the one with the clear plastic so you can take stuff in and out. I haven't put anything in these binders yet because they're brand new. Let's take it in and out of the little plastic covering. And on the side, well you can't really see it, but I wrote the name of the class and everything on here. It's my political science binder, so yeah. You just take this off, but the sticker off, but I slid in what class it is. You can put paper in here. Um, I don't really keep pens in my binders because I can keep it in my backpack because it has a little compartment in the front, but binders, just put paper in here or assignments. Make sure, it is really helpful if you have like a three-hole punch like I do, three-hole punch. It's kind of dusty, but gets the job done, three-hole punch. I don't remember how much this was. I got this a really long time ago, maybe a year or two ago, so... I think they sell these at Wal Walmart, so this is definitely a good place to go, or Office Max. And it makes life so much easier, it makes it so much easier to file in here. Like, if you put tabs in your notebook, or in your binder, it'll, and take it by unit, like say unit one was maybe history, or maybe like years or something like say you have units in class or chapters you can put chapter numbers here put in your binder and every assignment you have for a certain chapter or 
certain month, put it in there, and you'll have it ready for exams. So definitely a good idea for these. I always love, especially for my government class and economics, I would take it by units, and I would always know what to study for the test. So very good idea with these. Okay, so of course you need paper. This is like a, I actually, this is paper from freshman year in high school. Yes, I do have school from freshman year of high school. And I have not opened some of these, so definitely stocked up back then, but definitely use just college ruled is probably the best, because wide ruled, you can't write as much on a page, and yeah, but college ruled, definitely a lot better. This is bigger than your standard size paper, because we had a requirement back freshman year that you use bigger paper, but now... Yeah, but I might as well just use this up. Why? I mean, don't buy new packs of paper when you have some at home. And graph paper. This is just an old notebook from probably like freshman year I have. I didn't use all the paper, so I'm just going to reuse this, even though definitely there's pages missing and stuff. But I guess this is pretty, this is a really nice, you know, little, still has a lot of pages in it. So still use this, rip it out, put it in your binder graph paper for like math or trig or whatever you're taking so good idea um you need pens you obviously need pens and i do like the big atlantis they write really smooth and i write hard but this keeps me from writing too hard because it already has like a nice smooth writing so i do recommend the big atlantis they it's a little click pen so if you have like a little nervous thing where you click pens a lot which is kind of like me but this is still worth it. I don't remember how much this was. I got this from Sam's Club, I think. And it comes with 15 pens. Good idea. for Because you're going to be writing a lot. Especially with essays and stuff. So, love these pens. And if you kind of like... I don't know. It's easier to take notes if you have like different colors. Which is why you use highlighters. But you can also use colored pens. I have pink ones. And I have other colors like red, green, blue, but I do like the pink ones because pink's my favorite color, so you, again, they're Atlantis, so you can find these at Staples, I'm sure you can find it at Office Max too, so recommend these. You're probably going to need a dictionary, this is just an old one I have, um, so, but a dictionary is really good, has word stuff, you can look it up, so yeah, good idea. Um, erasers are a good idea because, you know, mechanical pencils, they run out. And I do like the high polymer erasers because they erase completely, they don't rip your paper, they don't smudge. Love these erasers, they're better than the pink ones, so I recommend these. They're by Pentel High Polymer Erasers. Now, in college, I got file folders and little filer cabinet things. I can use those for class and file all my old papers in there, so it's a good idea if you have old papers and you can get ready for exams, finals, so you can't keep your binders, can't have all those papers in your, pi in your binders, so good idea to have file folders. Um, I hope I helped, and I hope you guys take this advice, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!